And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast, sponsored by Generator Supercenter of Amarillo. Hi, Kevin Selly in the Weather Center. Something of a windy start for much of the panhandle for the uh, first part of the weekend on Saturday. We'll call it mostly to partly sunny, maybe some extra clouds in spots later in the day. And the winds will pick up through the afternoon. They'll be southwest averaging 10, uh, 20 rather to 30 miles per hour. I think we'll easily see some gusts 35 and probably close to 40 here and there. Go for a high temperature around 80 degrees and you see precipitation chance about 10%. That's right along the Texas-Oklahoma border in the eastern portions of the Panhandle. Let's discuss this. We had that severe weather threat on Thursday, and that's when the dry line was set up across the central portion of the Panhandle. For Saturday, it'll be in the eastern part of the region, so east of the dry line, which will move eastward through the day and into the day on Sunday. That was, is the uh, highest moisture content in the atmosphere, unstable atmosphere, more supportive of thunderstorms, and then we dry out as we go on through the rest of the weekend. Probably easy to see it on the uh, dew point forecast here. As we get into the morning hours on Saturday, take a look at what happens. See the green coming back, and that's the dry line. Note Canadian with a dew point of 33. 53 though in Childress and then the dry line sort of hangs out in the eastern portions of the region. So Canadian southward through Wheeler and maybe Memphis eastward, Childress down to Paducah and then areas eastward. That's the best chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms, some of which could be strong and they will strengthen quickly as they move on into Oklahoma. And that is reflected here in the severe weather risk outlook. So the orange area is the highest likelihood of severe storms. But again, right along the border, there is that chance for some stronger storms to develop. And it'll be another long day in the central plains down into uh, the, say, call it northwestern portions of Texas as we go on through the day. Also a windy day. Our New Mexico counties have a red flag warning in effect. Rest of the region with a fire weather watch, dry conditions, windy conditions, that leads to that higher fire danger. Everybody's been doing great by keeping those fires at bay and not getting them started, so let's keep that going for the weekend. 10% chance for a couple of scattered showers, thunder showers in the eastern parts of the region through the day. Pretty quiet for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Temperatures warming though, we go from mid 70s to near 90 from Sunday to Tuesday, and then some scattered showers and thunder showers possible, not likely, but hit and miss variety for the second half of the upcoming week.